Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Nate from Blitz the Bolt and today we're going to do a little bit of a film review for Justin Herbert and the Saints game on Monday Night Football. I was planning on doing, you know, all his games, but the thing is there's a lot of good clips I can use from this game and um, we're looking at the bad first and then we'll be looking at the good. And um, there's actually a lot more bad than I expected, but he's a rookie quarterback and a lot of these mistakes were warranted and I don't think they were quite frankly that bad. But there was a couple things that shocked me on tape. And I hope you guys enjoyed this film breakdown. It will be my first of many. I'm trying to figure out how to exactly do these. But for right now, I'm taking screenshots and writing down in paint what the play is. And eventually, I'll figure out exactly how they do it. Like Brett Coleman does it or Samuel Gold, a lot of the professionals. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys. to begin we got Joshua Kelly motioning out to the outside next to Jalen Guyton and so the play design here is Keenan Allen taking a step back we can have the quarterback for a bubble screen and in doing that they have both the tight ends and the trips formation with him acting like they're gonna block the man in front of them but in reality they're out gonna go they're gonna go try to catch a pass when the routes Hunter Henry's running a post sort of between a and the eye of the Saints end zone and then you got Donald Parham with six foot eight. I would love to take my chances with the jump ball with him next to the red zone. Uh, he's running a wheel to the front pylon in the end zone. And um, you'll see what happens. He, he is the one that gets targeted, and that's why he's in red. And then the other side of the field, you got Joshua Kelly running a 10 yard hitch. And you got Jalen Guyton running a 15 yard out. And in doing this, this leaves a conflict defender, that corner covering Joshua Kelly. Either he floats up to cover the out. And that'll be covered to throw it underneath to Joshua Kelly for free yardage. Or if he stays on Joshua Kelly, then that out is going to be open because the safety has too much depth. Usually this is how that concept works. It's supposed to be a zone beater. Usually good for cover beating cover two. Cover three is okay with it too. But usually that's what it's supposed to be. And um, it's a pretty good concept. But here, Donald Parham gets targeted. And you'll see what happens next. Alright, to start off here, Justin Herbert goes to Hut. He pumps to Keenan Allen. And he goes to throw it right to Donald Parham, right? And to Donald Parham, he just totally misses the throw. Let's rewind it a little bit. He releases it right about here. There's pressure right in his face. And he gets hit as he's thrown, or right after he's thrown, right? And he throws it out of bounds. You know, he's pretty much double covered. If he can throw it high, you know, Parham might have a chance on a one-on-one -on -one right here. But you look at the rest of the field, right? Let's rewind it just a little bit. Let's see where the rest of the people are. See if anyone's open, right? Hunter, he's double covered. He's locked up, right? And he's, Justin Herbert is already throwing the ball here. You got Keenan Allen, kind of on the shallow from his bubble screen. He's open. That's a good maybe 10 to 15 yard pickup right there. Free yardage, right? And you look at the other side of the field. Joshua Kelly on his on his hitch is kind of open. He throws it in front of him. You know, that's good enough to get some yards. And then Guyton's pretty much covered, right? So there's better options for Justin Herbert to throw it here, but I'm not too sure why he didn't throw the ball. So we're gonna look at it one last time, just full playback, you know, without me rewinding and all that good stuff. So the pump there, he throws it up to Don Parham, just totally misses the throw. And I understand he's just trying to get away before pressure gets in his face. So this is really not that bad of a play. He really saves a sack. So I'm not really critiquing too hard here. I'm just saying this is a mistake that if you're a great, great quarterback, you'll make a check down rather than throwing it away. You know what I mean? Nice pump there, throws it up, and just goes nowhere. You know, I understand he's 6'8", but you can't overthrow him that bad. So that's his first mistake of the game. We'll move on to the next. All right, so this is what we got. Justin Herbert motions Keenan Allen closer to the formation, making the formation tighter. And here's all the routes they're going to be running. All right, so what you see here is a three-man route combination with max protection you got Joshua Kelly running the wheel out of the backfield then you got Keenan Allen running over and then you got I believe Jalen Guyton running a corner post right and this corner post it's it's open and he, since he has great speed then it's a good chance if you throw it to him he's gonna catch it or it's gonna be incompletion overthrown right but Justin Herbert here makes a pretty big mistake and I'll show you exactly what all right to start off the play you got the play action to Truman Pope Let's pause it right here, right? So Pope looks pretty much covered. You got Keenan on this over route, and he looks pretty open, right? If you can throw it in between the safety and the linebackers or possibly that corner that's gonna come up because of the wheel route, right? That's the issue, that corner. No route should ever intersect like this. Like, you got this wheel route coming up and the corner's gonna follow, and you got this over that's ending soon, 
and that corner is going to be there for Keenan Allen to be covered. Right? That's a big issue with the scheme. I think this play needs to be looked over. Obviously, they aren't the main read since Justin Herbert, let's keep going, throws it to Jalen Guyton, who actually has a good step maybe in front as he's running his route in front of his defender, right? And Herbert has an arm. He's a cannon. Top three arm talents in the NFL for sure, right? He he underthrows it, right? And like, why did he underthrow it? Let's go back a little bit. We're going to zoom in on him. And he gets hit as he's thrown. So you look here, boom, demolished, right? And I think he would have had either an overthrown or a completion to Jalen Guyton if he it was able to throw it with his full power, you know, not getting hit as he's thrown. So I'm not, again, I'm not, there's not much to really critique here. I, I had a lot of trouble finding plays I can critique and I can talk about, right? But overall, I've been really, really happy with what I've seen. We're going to get into the positive stuff soon. I just want to get the negative stuff out of the way if there really is any negative because all these mistakes have warrants to it like pressure and etc etc so moving on to the next play all right so with this one i'm gonna be quick fast and simple right i have no clue what this play is i think it's a miscommunication between the coaching staff and herbert or the whole team herbert between in the o-line i have no clue what's going on here right so before i start it i just want to say that tevi and pipkins i they just fell on the floor i don't know what these turnstiles are doing but not their job obviously you know, Tevi's been looking all right, and I've been a fan of Pipkins, but I, I need to see more improvement, especially down in the goal line, right? So, start off, right? We get set. We move Hunter Henry to the other side of the formation, right? We got a lot of players on that side, right, at the right side. So, we're going to fake to the fullback, right? And fullback might have had a lane maybe for a yard, but Herbert just gets sacked, like, instantly, okay? So, let's look at it from another angle. So, we're all figuring out what the hell's going on. We move Hunter to the other side, right? Let's just pause, right? So we got three guys on the left, and then we got four. Wait, we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five guys on the right, if you count the center, right? So that, that if you really just open pivot, right, and give it to Kelly with the lead blocker being uh, Gabe Neighbors, or if you just give it to Neighbors, that's a good, right here, in between these guys right here, in between the guard and the tackle and the B guy, right? That's a pretty good run. I'm pretty sure that's called ISO even, so get Gabe neighbors up here to Anzalone and that's a that could be a touchdown but that's not what we did we faked it to neighbors and had Joshua Kelly run a little swing pass and I think Herbert knew it was gonna be a pass play so he's expecting probably Hunter or Parham to go out and run a play even uh, Tevi because he's lined up at tight end but nope Kelly's the only one that gets the memo that it is a pass play he runs a swing route and no one else runs a route. everyone else either gets demolished under block or just doesn't do anything at all so I'm not sure what's the issue here. I think it's a miscommunication, but this has to stop. We need to fix it, especially down in the goal line. You know, we only got four attempts at getting a touchdown, and this is a failed one. We lost a bunch of yards from this, right? A bunch of yards from this, and just remember, just gets sacked. So this is just a little critique again. Um, we're gonna move on to the next play. I want to keep it short and sweet. All right, here Justin Herbert is setting up the play. Joshua Kelly goes up to the line, figure out his protection. So here's the play, right? You got Joshua Kelly blocking someone, you know, playing pass protection used to the edge. You got KJ Hill running the kind of inside uh, stemmed out route. And then you got Jalen Guyton, I believe, kind of doing a fake crack block on the end, on the other side, and then he runs an out, kind of like a whip. And then Hunter Henry's running it over, and then Mike Williams doing that outside release fade. And, you know, that's kind of Mike Williams' ball. So we're going to see what exactly happens on this play. All right, so Justin Herbert goes set hut. You know, he's looking at straight at Mike Williams, steps up in the pocket, throws it deep, and just hella underthrown to Mike. I'm not exactly sure what happened here, so let's kind of take a little rewind. They start rushing, and he got hit with the spin move. I'm not exactly sure, but one of the tackles or even the tight end got hit with the spin move. Herbert has to step up into pressure, straight, straight into someone to just even get the throw off, right? Mike William has this guy by like a good step or two, right? Both players actually, you know, and taking a deep shot while under pressure is nice, but if you cannot like step up fully into your throw, I highly advise doing that, right? Because you see here, you see that like Jalen Guyton is open, KJ Hill is covered, right? And then Joshua Kelly could be up on a little check down if you really can't make it to Guyton. So Guyton's open and with his speed, dude, that's a good 20 yard play. I'm not exactly sure why Justin Herbert didn't throw the check down I've noticed that he'd rather take a shot than throw the check down and with Rivers I think we're so used to him throwing those check downs left and right and then taking a shot and making the mistake and I really hope Herbert kind of learns from the previous charger quarterbacks 
look, dude, you don't always have to make that huge play. You know, winning is going to be awesome. You take that huge play when it's given to you. You know, as much as I dislike Tom Brady because of his play style, it works. You know, take the check downs when they're given to you. It's going to be a methodical long drive, but it's successful and efficient. So, I mean, the opportunity is there for Mike to catch that ball. Or like, if the throw is good, that is. But the throw was not because pressure in his face and with his Chargers offensive line, the pressure is always going to be in his face. You know what I mean? So, that is the issue with this play for me. Um, so, yeah, we'll move on to the next play. All right, so to start off, Justin Herbert motions the fullback a little bit, kind of do a little shift motion, right? And so here's the play, right? So to begin, you got, I believe that's Tyron Johnson running a post route. He goes deep, runs that post. You got Mike, who's the target receiver up top right here. You know, he's on the ball, he's off the ball. He's running over, and at the very end of the boot, he notices the safety, who's gonna be Malcolm Jenkins, who makes a great play on this ball, is gonna be under. So he kind of cuts his route up, to, and if Justin Herbert throws an accurate ball, this would be a great play. Mike Williams does his job to edit his route for the quarterback, right? Justin Herbert doesn't really read that right, and I think in due time, it will go fine. Right, so you got Virgil Green kind of doing this half little block here. He fakes the block, goes out with the boot. I really like this play design because it shows everything's going this way. The whole offensive line is acting like it's a stretch to, I believe it's Joshua Kelly, who kind of, after the stretch, runs a swing route. And then Gabe Neighbors runs this kind of like out type of thing. And then Justin Herbert does the boot out and follows the motion of everyone else. I think this play design is awesome because everyone's shifting this way for the run. Linebackers take a step out to this. You know, it's a good play design and everything goes out this way, which can put a lot of stress and confusion on these backers and safeties, right? And also takes part of the D-line of the play. So anyway, with this play, the whole point is to either hit Mike on the over because these linebackers got sucked up into this area over here for the running back since the play action or just to take the check down on someone because these linebackers went too far deep and already read the play action and and you got their free check down right that's kind of the point of the play and uh, we'll see what justin herbert does wrong in just a second all right justin Herbert takes a snap fakes the play action to joshua and you see here he pumps he keeps running and running and running and he just makes a terrible throw all right he totally underthrows it and you'd think with someone with such arm talent right wouldn't underthrow a ball like that to anyone, but Herbert has been underthrowing this game, and I think it just has to do with pressure and you know, not enough practice time with Mike Williams, who's been off and on the field since he's hurt, and Justin Herbert playing with the second team, and Mike's not really a second team guy. So let's watch it one more time. The boot there, and let's pause for a second. So you got neighbors running across, and then you got Mike Williams running across, and then you got, I believe that's guy in on the corner, or on the post. My bad. So. On the pose, it looks pretty covered. And Mike, since these linebackers got sucked up, he looks open, but you see these two guys. He's gonna have to throw it in between one linebacker, you know, another guy here, and another, like two more here. So it's that's a hard throw. Plus, he's already kind of going out. Hard to throw across your body. Neighbors is covered by, I believe that's AJ Klein, 53. Virgil finishes like kind of half block thing. He's gonna run out again. And Kelly's already on the other side of the formation, so there's not really much there. All right, let's. Pause again, and this is where Mike kind of tur turns his route up up the field. Because look at all this green grass right here. So much green grass for Mike. And if he can kind of like go behind him, right, and Herbert can take that shot in this area, that's going to be a perfect throw. So let's keep it going. Herbert takes that little pump, and then he throws it off, like not even setting his feet, just throws it because he has so much arm, right? But you're a rookie, man. Set your feet, throw the ball if you got the time to. I understand you got to make a play quick and fast, but... Um, making a play rather than not is always better so continuing he throws it just under throws it if he throws it like in this kind of area you know maybe like a couple yards in front maybe just a little higher even Malcolm Jenkins does not get his hands on this ball and nearly intercepts it right this is the, uh, probably his worst play of the night it is a hard throw to make but Justin Herbert has all the talent in the world to do that so we're gonna watch it from the other angle the end zone angle and see what happens there So there it goes, there's a little shift, there's the boot action again, you see everyone's flowing that way. Virgil's kind of open, but that's going to be like two yards, right, and just bad throw, right? Let's kind of look it back one more time. So, boom, play action, Neighbors is covered, and Mike's like right here, like if he can throw this ball low, and Mike can just kind of drop for it, uh, it wouldn't be half bad either. You just have to worry about this guy right here, but let's continue on, he cuts his route up. And Jenkins does a great job noticing Mike edits his route up and follows him, right? 
but Herbert, all these graphs right here, this guy's gonna take forever, and the ball's already right here. This guy's gonna take forever to get there. So if you can throw a little higher, dude, Mike has got that nine times out of 10. And Malcolm makes a great play on the ball, almost intercepts it, and that's the end of the play right there. All right, so Justin Jackson's motioned into the play. He makes a little bit of an audible here, and here's the play. So pretty much Justin Jackson's running a little swing, and after that, you got man coverage right on here. I think on uh, Jalen Guyton that might be on a go route. You got KJ Hill running over, and it's, he's, he's going to be the targeted receiver on this play right after the Saints logo. You got Mike running this little crosser to kind of create a mesh concept for these safeties and linebackers, and then Hunter's going to be running a post. And you'll see here in this play that Justin Herbert's going to totally underthrow KJ, right? And that's been a theme of this game, Justin Herbert underthrowing receivers. So we'll see right here. Boom underthrown right behind him i'm not sure exactly what that was about but let's get a little replay here from the other angle even the defenders are like Ooh, we got saved all right so storm runs in you know we got the the pretty much a whole backup offensive line here so we'll see what happens so hut takes his uh, was a five to seven step drop and just throws it behind him boom hike just kind of pause real quick you see mike he's pretty much covered by these two guys right here protection's not looking great you got feeney trying to hold down the fort with two guys in his face you got two people double doubling i think that's trey hendrickson like you can't be having a one-on-two on the o-line and then have a two-on-one and this guy what are you doing he's just out of the play pipkins is doing a great job against cam jordan right there it's kind of unpaused for a second the two-on-one actually got beat right here he comes free because feeney is getting overwhelmed this guy is just watching like he's a referee or something so the ball's released right here pressure in his face hand about to touch his helmet so and then boom right right behind him let me go back a couple frames here so you see here he's not really open he has two guys they played a really good coverage against this so you'll see here and then the go route on the other side is completely covered as well so if Herbert throws an accurate ball right in this area, this guy's going this way, and these guys are up top. So if he throws it in this area right here, he get a block from uh, Hunter Henry, he has a chance to go up and get another 10 yards after the catch, right? It's just little throws like that Herbert needs to improve on, and of course he's a rookie. I'm saying this to show that Herbert isn't Superman, and the, kind of the whole point of this film breakdown is to show he has flaws, right? But trust me guys, we're almost at the part where we talk about all his strengths and awesome plays he made this game i just want to show the flaws first and so far this is my third day working on this and i'm very surprised of um how long the video is so far i was expecting it to be like maybe 15 minutes long it's looking like this is gonna be a 30 minute video so i hope you guys enjoy and um in the description i'm sure i already have the timestamps and all these type of things for you guys so yeah thank you guys for watching so far and we'll get into the positive stuff soon so on to the next play all right so we see here justin herbert I'll take the snap looking across the field right here's the play so pretty much on this play right you got a little slant to Mike Williams right here this is the targeted receiver and then you got a little dagger concept coming here on the what is this, a 15 yard out for KJ and a huge uh, just go route for Guyton right here and crazy as it may seems there was a bust in coverage and Guyton was wide open down the field I'll, I'll show you guys when the play starts rolling right but that was the hardest part about watching this play over and over again because this is the play that lost us the game, right? So, because Mike came up shallow the first down. I want to say the first down is right about at the 50, right? And he came up shallow. And this corner sinks and kind of goes out to, with this out route. And then this leaves this guy wide open because this guy is so worried about Hunter and just kind of in no man's land. So, that's what makes this play so hard to watch is this guy right here, guy in his wide open. And then you got Joshua Kelly coming across the formation to block this extra guy right here. Joshua Kelly does a great job of that block. I was really happy to see what he did. And then you got Hunter Henry on this dig route right here, kind of inside release, and then just boom, right in there. So we're going to watch the play right now. All right, so sit hut. There you go. You saw the block by uh, Joshua Kelly. We're going to take this piece by piece since this is the play that lost the game, right? So Joshua Kelly comes here, blocks his guy right you got hunter henry actually it was an outside release my bad on that so it was an outside release he goes out and he's gonna come back in and then you see these guys look clumped together but he's gonna go out and he's gonna go straight and mike's running that slant right so we're gonna go a little bit and we're gonna pause again right so i see what so the block here is good protection's okay i mean there's gonna be someone there soon right but you see this guy might be able to follow guy in right here but this out route is this guy's responsibility so that's why he's gonna become open mike i totally see what justin herbert is doing right here 
her, Mike has like three yards of separation and right here these guys are not even close this is like a first down this is a good decision but the throw was not there Hunter was possibly open so we're gonna go a little bit see where he catches it see Mike makes a great catch that's what Mike's known for but right here he throws it behind him he makes him have to jump stop all his momentum come up and catch the ball when in reality it should be placed in front of him where he can run and stride and get the first down you see the sticks right here on the 50 and he throws it just probably a little bit too early to be honest right but also behind him and you see here this out is pretty open as well and then this is somewhat open so we're gonna kind of see he gets tackled we all know what happens here is a yard short um, Herbert looks okay in the pocket right this is of course after he threw it so we don't really exactly know Hunter is somewhat open and you see right here this guy comes down this guy stays and Guyton is wide open and so we're gonna watch it from the other angle soon but that's kind of what I'm getting at why it was so painful to see and seeing Mike being a couple yards short really hurt to see but good play by Marshawn Lattimore I can only give him credit right it was Justin Jackson, not Joshua Kelly, made the block. That was my bad, right? I get these guys confused because I can't see their numbers or names or anything. So good block there. There's the throw, and he's just a yard short. So we're going to rewind it just a little bit. All right, go. Block right there. Hunter's running outside. All right. So look at the protection right as he's throwing it. Uh, pressure right in his face. I'm telling you guys, Ryan Groy is one of the worst offensive linemen I've seen in a long time. And I'm a Charger fan. This guy is not good. But Trey Turner will come back and we'll be all be happy again. So there you go. There's a throw. And you see this guy's these guys are trailing this way. He's running straight up. This guy, Guyton, is going to be open. And I really wish, possibly if he had enough time, just throw a deep one to Guyton. I, the decision he made was the correct decision, right? But the throw he made was not correct, right? So it, I, I almost feel like I would have more confidence in Herbert throwing a more accurate ball to Guyton who's pretty much wide open than having this tight, somewhat tight coverage on Mike. All right. So see how Mike's body kind of contorts. We're going to go back a little bit. His body's right here and he has to contort back to the ball. So boom. See how his like, kind of body contorts. I know it's blurry because it's blurry for his me as well, but he kind of contorts back. See how his, his body's this way at that angle. So that's kind of why we lost this game. Right, and also with Guyton kind of getting some, not a pick, but he's kind of in the way of this defender. You got this out route as well. There was better options all over the field, right? I, I'm, I'll stand by this and say it was the right decision, but sometimes it's better to take more of a risk, even in this situation, if you think it will be an easier throw for your quarterback, right? So, boom, and he's tackled before the goal line, or before the sticks. So, that's it for this play. We're going to move on to the good stuff. This is the final play of all the bad stuff I want to talk about. And we'll move on to all the fun, good stuff right now. Thank you guys so far for making it this far. All right, so Justin Herbert motions Keenan Allen across the field. Someone follows. He sees that safety comes down, so he kind of holds off on taking the snap. Kind of mess up the defense's timing. So, a little adjustment there by Justin Jackson. All right, so here's the play. You got Jalen Guy on a little stutter and go. And then you got Mike Williams on a deep out route. He kind of cuts it up at the very end because Justin Herbert scrambles. You got this guy blocking right here. You got Keenan Allen over the middle running a little hitch route, right? And then you got Hunter Henry on this rounded off dig, right? Herbert sees that no one's open and he kind of scrambles between the tackle and the guard. And we're going to break down exactly what will happen on the D-line, O-line, and all that fun stuff. But first, we got to watch the play, all right? So here we go. Herbert takes a snap. He, he notices no one's there. So you look over here, right? No one's open, really. Maybe there's a step, but the safety's there. Mike's somewhat open, but he's out of position. Keenan's doubled. Hunter's not open. There's no one there for him to, to throw it to, right? So he sees this huge opening. He goes off, takes a run, does a little nice move, and goes back in and almost gets the first down, right? I like seeing these negative or not so great plays turn into positive plays. So we're going to look at this from the other angle, right? So the motion to Keenan Allen right there. You see PJ Williams come right up to the center. And then he goes around, acting like he's going to go on a stunt or something. Here, we'll break down all the O-line stuff. So this is a lot. Okay, so you got, we're going to start off from left to right. Cam Jordan comes in, crashing down for the quarterback, right? Pipkins goes to block him. Groy right here, he's he's going to ignore PJ Williams, who actually goes into coverage. And he's going to go for David on Yamada, who actually goes on a stunt around all the way to Feeney. Okay? So, and then Alex Anzalone, 
he's going to go all the way around on the stunt with Onyemata to go to Groy. So it's almost like Feeny has to pick up Groy's guy and Groy has to take up Feeny's guy, right? Simple stuff. And then this guy right here, I believe that is Force Slam. He see he his responsibility is going to be Malcolm Jenkins, right? Malcolm Jenkins goes all the way around and it takes him very long to get there so he kind of puts himself on the play and actually hits his own man and Zaloni, right? Very lastly, you got Turnstile Tevi on Trey Henderson who's having a game after this, right? He got it's a one-on-one -on -one there and uh Jackson it will be the man blocking whoever Jenkins would be or Jackson was supposed to pick up that extra man, right? So protection looks okay. Let's see how we execute. So boom, awful snap, nice ball handling by Justin Herbert, no homo. You see the little run there, the little little juke right there. So boom, steps on the pocket, sees that he has a bunch of green grass to run into. Little juke there, keeps going, falls forward, right? I like to see him slide because obviously I'm a Charger fan. I want to see this QV we do have continue to play. All right. All right, so Justin Herbert motions Justin Jackson on this little motion. Hunter Henry is assigned to block Malcolm Jenkins, who is blitzing off the edge, right? So here you see this receiver right here running a little five yard in. Donald Parham, who's a six foot eight big tight end specialty for the red zone. He's running a little post. And you got Keenan, who's the target receiver on this little inside release stutter and just go, right? Which is perfect where Justin Herbert boots out. You got Hunter blocking that guy, I already said. And you got Justin Jackson kind of running this over, right? And you notice Herbert has to roll out, so he kind of makes his route into a whip and he goes the way Herbert's going. So that was a great adjustment by Jackson there. So set hut, low snap, nice handling by Herbert. Escapes the pressure, that's good speed and off balance, throws it perfectly to Keenan Allen, only where Keenan Allen can get it. Leads Keenan Allen to spike the ball and you know, do his little dance that he always does, right? That was a nice throw there. So we're gonna watch it from this angle now. Watch Hunter Henry right here, all right? Hunter Henry motions in, tied it to the formation, right? So hut, so you see right there, bad snap, nice catch by Herbert to get it with one hand. And Henry, and he could have either stepped inside to fully block Cam Jordan or stepped more outside. And I don't know what his assignment was, but either way, he has to step either more outside or more inside to pick one. He couldn't pick which one to block, right? So he decides it's kind of be no man's land and doesn't block either one of them, right? So boom, just misses Jenkins because he doesn't step outside enough, doesn't have a good enough kick set, right? So Herbert notices he's under pressure by two guys right there. So he thinks if he can get enough depth and then go around, he has chance, right? So boom, gets around him, stays on his feet, kind of gets some contact right there, right? You see these guys kind of downfield already, but goes, throws it off balance across his body somewhat. See his arm going that way and his feet are like that, right? Throws it perfectly. Yeah, let's go to Keenan Allen, right? Because the defender's behind him. He throws it in front where only Keenan Allen can get it, which is a beautiful, beautiful throw. Keenan Allen makes a great catch. And, you know, he does his little dance. So we're going to be on to the next play. All right. So this play, we got a little jet sweep motion to Tyron Johnson. It's a fake jet sweep. And then you fake it, uh, I believe, Joshua Kelly or Justin Jackson, one of the two. He's going to fake up here. And he's going to run a little out. We got Hunter Henry running this kind of over route to occupy this guy and this guy. That's the plan, right, for him to come down and get Henry. And then you got the target receiver, Jalen Guyton, who runs this kind of inside release, goes up, kind of cuts back out like he's running a corner it's a corner post right and then he goes back in for the post and then what this does it manipulates both the corner and the safety of where he's going and he becomes wide open you'll see this play right now Justin Herbert throws a beautiful ball I would just like to see uh, Jalen guy in to continue running after he catches it but we'll see so boom there's the fake Hunter is not really open you see he's wide open between these two guys right here boom beautiful ball right on his hip I would just like to see him maybe slow down a step or two before, kind of catch it in stride and score for the touchdown rather than falling down. But we do score a touchdown on this drive, so it's not a big deal. But, you know, if he wants to get them stats up, then he should probably keep it. So, look, wide open. He catches it on his shoulder, kind of the other shoulder. If Herbert can throw a little, like, maybe a yard further on his other shoulder, that would be way better. But other than that, this is a beautiful play. We're going to take one last look at it. And uh, let's see. So there's the jet sweep to Tyron, boom, to Justin Jackson, Hunter's covered, way down the field, right there, boom, beautiful throw by Justin Herbert, pitch and catch all the way down the field, um, so we're going to move on to the next play. Alright, so this play is a touchdown to Mike Williams, he motions Mike Williams a little tighter to the formation, right, so here's the play, so you got a fake to Joshua Kelly on a little play action type thing, he kind of reverse pivots to do that, Gabe Neighbors goes up to block up here in this area and then Joshua Kelly acts like he's gonna block from the run and then he goes out on a little flat route 
And then you got Hunter Henry running this crosser. You got Virgil fake blocking here as well. And it goes around. It's like a mesh concept pretty much. And then you got Mike Williams going on top of everyone in this mesh concept. Getting these linebackers confused. Running this just in route. And just all he has to do is beat his man. Which he does. And he scores his touchdown right. So you'll see right here. So boom the play action. Let's just take a little pause right here. So you see Joshua Kelly is pretty much covered. Maybe if he throws a decent ball over here. Gabe Neighbors is not doing a great job on his block. Virgil already got bumped and he's like bracketed. All right. Hunter, if you throw it low, maybe like in this area. But the best bet is where Mike beat his man by a good one to two steps. And you throw in this area, which Herbert did. And that's a touchdown. So, boom. Touchdown. Beautiful throw up and high and away from the man. Um, everything about this throw was beautiful and uh, well-deserved touchdown. So, this was set up by that Jalen guy in catch that we covered right before this. So, watch it one more time. Boom, play action, the flat, the over right here. Boom, touchdown. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. Everything about that play was great. So we're going to move on to the next play, and here we go. All right, so on this play, it's a touchdown to Hunter Henry. So pretty much he motions Jalen Guy in across the formation, and here's the play, right? So you got Mike Williams kind of setting this pick for KJ Hill. He does a little stutter and kind of just does a little move to the inside. It was really nothing much because KJ Hill on this out he's running for the pick he falls he kind of just doesn't execute correctly and when he falls it mike doesn't really have an assignment anymore because his whole job was to block for kj hill and set a pick for him to be open and so honestly i've had like this whole season i've been very disappointed in kj hill we gave him way too much hype and uh, that's gonna be probably next week's or the week after his film breakdown of who has won the number three wide receiver spot and who's gonna be number four five six etc right so we got Joshua Kelly or Justin Jackson. I can't see. I can only see a two, so I don't know exactly which running back it is. But he's running a little angle route out of the backfield. Then you got Guyan running this kind of flat, like kind of runs a couple steps up and just runs a flat. And then you got the targeted receiver, Hunter Henry, who runs this, like you can call it a flat corner or just an out route, either one, right? So he goes up, kind of stutters on his man, kind of gives him something like a little bit of contact up here and just runs out and... Hunter Henry or Justin Herbert sees that Hunter Henry's open and throws a beautiful ball. So let's go see that right now. Um, I just want to point out that KJ Hill falls, so you, we'll watch that as well. All right, so here's a play. Boom, pause right here. So as Herbert's throwing, so KJ Hill is already like barely just making his break outside. Mike is kind of just setting the pick. Uh, Joshua Kelly's bracketed by these two. Jalen Guyton's covered man to man. Hunter, there's a bunch of green grass up here. This guy can't go up there fast enough. And you look at the protection, it's actually pretty good. You got two on this guy. Tevi's holding his ground. Pipkins is holding his ground. And Groy's doing all right. He's not doing great because there's a guy in the throwing lane, but he's doing the best he can, right? So overall, not bad protection, right? And boom, touchdown to Hunter Henry. Beautiful throw. I didn't think he was in when I first saw this live, but he was pretty easily, actually. So that was awesome. So we're going to watch this from the other angle. There's the motion to Jalen Guyton. It was Joshua Kelly. That's the running back, all right? Boom throw and beautiful catch so look at this throw all right i'm gonna pause it right here so this guy gets his arm right here and the ball's right there that's like maybe seven eight inches just away from this guy beautiful throw you don't want to put it like right here but these little minuscule details are doesn't really matter right now because he's in a bad enough position where if it's on his body or even in front of him either way it's fine and um i thought this throw was awesome so we're gonna go back a little bit and watch the uh, cage hill fall down so he does that little stutter inside and he tries to swim over right here. Boom. So like, look, he has him somewhat beat. If he has enough speed, he can probably get him. That's probably a win on the route, right? And he just falls. I A little bit of contact, but I think he just kind of trips on himself. I'm not too sure what happened there, but I just wanted to point that out. And uh, I think we need someone else to start playing where he plays in the slot. I think um, Joe Reed, we drafted in the fifth round, definitely deserves to be playing like just playing period because he's been inactive so but yeah other than that that was a great touchdown um love the throw love the catch hunter henry um i think deserves all the targets he's getting he's one of the best tight ends in the league and uh we're gonna move on to the next play all right so mike williams motions across the formation right he's gonna be the guy who catches the touchdown so from what i saw this is the play design right so you got Jalen gutton running an outside release go route right he beats his man by a step or two and you got kj hill running an outside release in route around the 49 this route is particularly good against cover two if this guy does a drop deep enough right because these guys can go outside and cover their halves and he'll be wide open right and then you got joshua kelly 
running his 10 yard from his spot but five yard hitch route as a check down route and then you got hunter henry running his 10 yard hitch and that could be good if it's cover three so you see here mike williams is stemming outside right on his route and he cuts it right up on the sideline to make sure he has a beat on this guy right so this is going to be the touchdown route we'll watch it right now all right set hut we're going to pause right here so this is as he's releasing the ball so Guyan has his guy by a step he even has outside leverage KJ Hill beats his guy, right? But this guy's gonna come over and undercut it if he does throw it. Hunter is already covered by his guy. Checkdown's wide open, but this guy one-on-one -on -one in space, I believe that's Demario Davis. Nine times out of 10, Joshua Kelly's not gonna win that, right? So, and that's not to bash on Joshua Kelly, it's just because Demario Davis is one of the best linebackers in the league. So, that he's pretty much covered if you think about it. It may be three yard pickup. And you look at protection here, uh, Pipkins holding up really good. Two on one on this guy, doing fine. Two on one on this guy. It was only a three man rush, doing fine. So good protection here. And then you see this guy's in no man's land. This guy's in no man's land. Maybe he has enough speed to go and get it, but Herbert with his wide base, which is beautiful for a deep throw like this, and his shoulders pointing to where he wants to go, he's going to throw it right to Mike Williams, and we're going to let it go right here. So you see right here. He just cooks him. This guy had his two feet in the ground over here, and Mike was still running full speed. So to catch up like that is going to be impossible. This guy doesn't react fast enough, and this guy and the ball's already thrown so deep down the field. So here we go, boom, caught, and right here, right about here where he slows down at the ten, and this guy is like within like a five yard radius. It scared me on TV. I was like, do not pull some stupid deshaun jackson stuff dude like i was just getting the end zone like i'm you know like it's cool for the showboat and all that but i'm the type of guy to showboat once i'm in you know i it scares me like that bro don't don't do me like that so he scores a touchdown does his little dance and uh michael williams is my favorite receiver on the football team so it's happy to see him get a huge game that he had against the saints right so you see here this is a, it's a three-man rush this guy's the d defensive tackles in a two-point stance these guys are in a three he's in a four actually he's in a three so it's five against three the protection will be fine and uh let's go so joshua kelly sees if he has to block anyone nope so he goes runs his route and then hunter henry has some contact up there all right boom beautiful ball right boom to michael williams this guy is just beat by what is that like five yards he's on the 30 and he's on the 35 that's a beautiful route by Mike to beat him like that. Boom, caught, and he just waltzes in for the touchdown, right? Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. Everything about that play was executed perfectly. And um, we'll see you guys on the next play. It's the last play of the breakdown, so sayonara. All right, so this is the final play of the breakdown, right? So it's the huge Mike Williams catch down the sideline. So pretty much here we're running a simple four verticals concept. The one you use nine plays a game, dude, like the one you always call, right? So pretty much Mike Williams on the outside release go route. He's the targeted receiver. You got Hunter Henry on this post. Joshua Kelly throws a great block on the edge right here. And then you got this outside release uh, route by KJ. And he actually wins the route. I was genuinely surprised how well KJ did against this guy on this route. And you got Jalen Guyon running his route as well on the outside. And I don't think Jalen Guyon really won. So, overall, Mike may have been the best target here. Like, uh, KJ was pretty open too, but I think this guy hovers around here. So, we're going to watch the play over and over again. And, uh, yeah. So, we're going to pause right about here. So, Herbert's at the end of his drop. We'll look at everything. So, Guyon, I mean, he has speed. And this guy, he can cut it up. But Guyon, I don't think he's covered. He has still two to three yards to break through before he's passed him. KJ running outside, he's about to break free. His two feet are on the ground. He's running full speed, right? And then you got Hunter. He's on his outside release. He's going to cut it back in. He's pretty much triple covered if you look at the safety and two guys right there, right? He needs to get upfield faster because you'll notice Mike is doubled covered because he's not upfield fast enough. You look at this play, you got two on one. Pipkins is kind of just standing watching, kind of like pushing his own guy, it looks like. And you got this guy covering him. One, one, and this whole side right here looks pretty good. It's a nice wall right there. This guy has a free lane to rush. Like, if this guy decides to rush, Pipkins either has to get back and cover him, or that's a sack unless Harper escapes, right? So, we're going to go right here where he throws it. This is what he sees. He sees Mike Williams beat his guy one-on-one. -on -one. There's two guys over here. Maybe Hunter can make some physical contact right here to kind of get them away. And if he throws it outside, Mike is going to come up with that ball because he's Mike Williams. KJ Hill is starting to break free as well here. And the safety is already running this way. So if he pumped it and threw it to KJ, there's a possibility KJ was open like in this area as well. But Mike, one-on-one -on -one ball, I mean, I'm not saying no. So, boom. You got to take risks. Boom. Beautiful catch, dude. That catch, 
I can't express how like hyped I was when I saw that. Like, it reminded me of the Kansas City catch he had. Um, I think it was last year. Rivers pumps once, launches deep, and what an effort here! 50-yard reception, Mike Williams. And, but look at the body control, and we've said it all night long. Uh, Mike just makes these catches look routine, and um, there's a quote coming out today that he said, I don't care about how I land, I just care about catching the ball. So, I mean, he's fearless, man. I I play tight end sometimes, and I over, when I go over the middle, I know I'm going to get popped. I, I don't know, man. I get a little scared. I'm not going to lie. So, full props to Mike. Like, best to do it for the Chargers right now. So, we're going to unpause right here. Boom. Beautiful catch, leaping backwards. Pretty much three people there. I mean, just amazing. And we're going to watch it from the other angle right now. I just, this catch was beautiful. Helmet off and everything, right? Um, so, you got four people um, right here. So, this guy is a linebacker. Playing like almost like a nose guard in a two-point stance for some reason over the center, right? You got the defensive tackle playing in between the guard and the tackle. And then you got these edge guys lined up wide, right? And these guys are probably going to go back in. And this guy is going to go back up like it's covered too. So, we'll see right now. Okay, Anzalone and this guy actually, they both blitz. So it's a blitz, right? So you see how we pick it up. Justin Jackson's going to make a beautiful block, that is. So boom, you see that nice block on him right there. Nice wall right here is four on, what is that, three. This guy just decides not to finish the blitz, even though he has this huge lane, right? So there you go. Herbert throws, nice footwork. Boom, high points it perfectly, like jumps it. Like he timed it perfectly to get up there. And, you know, this guy's off the ground as well, and he just... He has a good like maybe eight inches of just arm above him man and he makes a beautiful catch and uh, comes right back down snaps down and I was in shock when I saw his play I was super happy I, when Mike makes these plays it's just the whole team gets excited and energetic sadly most of the time as of recent these plays don't mean anything because they're losing the game but um, I really hope Mike stays healthy for the rest of the year the rest of his career and I hope you see these catches more often right so pretty much that's the end of this whole entire breakdown. I expected this video to be a good 15 minutes long. Right now, I'm at a good like 40 minutes right now. So, um, this video took a good total of 20-ish hours to edit, and it's gonna take another maybe eight hours to render overnight. So, I put a lot of work into this video. Um, I'm very, very happy of the outcome so far. Um, if you guys like to see more, let me know. I'll try to make them shorter next time. I can break it down into parts if you like. Whatever you like, just comment. You know, any feedback would appreciate be appreciated. I know um, I'm not the best at like enunciating my words. I uh, stutter a lot and I kind of skip over my words because I'm talking too fast. So little things I know I have to understand and I have to work on. And um, I know sound quality needs to get better and all that type of stuff. But overall, I'm really happy with the. Uh, product i've come out with for you guys and i hope you guys enjoy so make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment what you guys think i should do next or what you think i missed or anything like that so thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next podcast see ya